Hello everybody, Bob So1984 here again and it's time to do a Newcastle United preview of tomorrow's game away to Crystal Palace. Now what do I think is going to happen? I mean, you know, the start of the season that we've had, you know, you just do not know what Newcastle United is going to turn up. Is it going to be the Newcastle that turned up and played so poorly against Cardiff? Or is it going to be Newcastle United that pulled out some great away results such as the 2-1 win at Leicester last season? And I genuinely haven't got a clue. It's it's so hard to call. Um, obviously, I, I, I want tomorrow to be a kickstarter. It needs to be uh, because, you know, it doesn't get any easier. Uh, the game's coming up, you know. Um, they're not exactly... You know, getting any easier. Obviously, you've got Man United away in a couple of weeks. Leicester at home next week. So it's it's just it, it's time to get points on the board. Um, I've been very disappointed, I think, um, with some fans' reactions uh, to certain uh, things that's been going on, and I think people just need to calm down. Um, frankly, if I'm being brutally honest, you know, we've had. A very hard start to the season and we have a, a goal difference of minus four um we've every game we've lost has been two one um fair play we've looked a bit negative but we've not been battered um if we'd been battered three four nil in a couple of them games i really wouldn't be looking forward to it tomorrow because the confident confidence would be on the floor um but looking at it from the other side of the coin, I know that it, you know that we have played the same sort of teams towards the back end of last season and won. And I I understand people's opinions when they say why can't we play like we did last season when we won? You know I understand that. Um, I don't have the answer. Obviously, Rafa Benitez has the answer. Um, I certainly still believe he's the man for the job. I don't agree with certain people who have said that uh, Rafa Benitez is doing it on purpose uh, to prove a point. Uh, I, I certainly do not believe Rafa, Rafa Benitez has, has got um, you know the integrity on the floor. Um, you know he's a very he's a you know he's a very honest man, football manager. I think we've not had a manager like him for a long time. Where he'll come out and actually say you know tell us how it is at, 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 at times. I think we're quite lucky. Um, we're still very lucky to have a manager of the colour of, of Rafa, Rafa Benitez as far as I'm concerned. Um, so, just as a message to any Newcastle fan that sees this video, how are you, man? Let's get behind the lads and stop all this negativity. You know, the slightest thing that happens in is on people's backs and it's, it's so cringeworthy. You know, people around the country call Newcastle fans fickle. And people that are, are on the Rafa Benitez's back, you're proving them right. Simple as that. But we're going to get to, obviously, tomorrow's game. And, you know, Rafa's come out today in the press conference. And he has said that uh, everybody is fit apart from Lejeune. Great. So I don't expect to see people like Shelby on the bench tomorrow. Yes, they might have had these, you know, rumours of a falling out. Rafa, from now on, Shelby needs to be in that team if he's fit. It's as simple as that. Because without Shelby, our midfield is, is dire. And, and Hayden was shocking last week. Hayden is somebody that put in a transfer request. He obviously doesn't want to be here. Stop playing him. It's as simple as that. Kennedy. Now, here's another one. Yes, he's not had a great start. He hasn't looked anything like what we had last season. But give the lad a chance. It's five games into the season, for God's sake, and people are already saying, well, you know, how can we even dream about spending 20 million on this kid? It would have been a waste. Honestly, you just need to give your heads a shake. And we all need to stop talking about Alexander Mitrovic because he doesn't play for Newcastle anymore. It's as simple as that. You know, we need to concentrate on the players that are here. Hosselu. You know, he scored goals for with fair play. He, he's not the greatest player in the world, but he puts his fucking bollocks around on that pitch and he leaves blood, sweat and tears on there. He puts a full effort in. And this, we need to get behind people. Obviously, Rondon, we need to, we, we're, we're desperate to see Rondon come on and, and, you know, do well for her. But at the end of the day, people are screaming at Rafa, why is he not starting? If he's not fit, you're not going to start him. It's as simple as that. Anyway, I'm, I'm having a rant and I don't want this video to be a rant. Um... But yeah, I, I genuinely hope that tomorrow 
he goes out and he puts his full his full strength team out. You know, I, I, there's no reason why not to. He's come out and confirmed everyone's fit. Um, obviously, he's come out as well the day that Richie has obviously admitted to the spat that he had with Lascelles. I don't mind that sort of thing. It happens at every training ground around the country. It doesn't just happen at Newcastle. So what do I think is going to happen tomorrow? I genuinely think that we are going to put in one of those no no quit performances. Um, I think we're going to really, really put the effort in. I hope, well, I hope we do, that we'll put the effort in. Um, I do see we're coming away with something. I'm not necessarily saying we're going to go and win, but I do think we will come away with something. And that has to be something to build on. A performance would be nice um, to stop all the doubters, but at the end of the day, at this moment in time, I would prefer a point over a performance. But this is just my take on, on obviously, tomorrow, um, Crystal Palace away. Leave your comments down below as to what you think is going to happen. My name is Bob, so 984 I'm not going to do prediction on the score, uh, but I'm going to say that I'd take a, a point. So I'll go for a draw. <laughs> My name is Bob, so 984 Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video very soon.